He put his head on our lap for the first time. I was so incredibly touched. He trusted that much. Since then, very often when he sees me, he shows his way asking for attention and a massage. When I opened the truck, he didn't see me. He was crying and his tears stamped on his face. It broke my heart. As I greeted him, he immediately looked at me and stopped crying. He was still a bit scared, but I knew he would go to trust me. I was told to be careful because he was aggressive and could hurt me, but I knew he would not. I heard about this bull who had by miracle escaped death. He was supposed to be used for meat, but he broke through the wall and just ran. I was completely moved by his bravery. Once he was at the sanctuary, I would go to the fields to talk to him, to sing to him. Nine years ago, my husband and I decided to move out of the city and reconnect with nature. He would grow organics and I would continue to teach yoga. We bought this little farm, which we moved in right away. One night I had a vision of a very old woman, wise and strong. She told me to look after any and all living creatures. The following day, a friend of mine asked me to adopt her horse because she could no longer take care of him. And I thought it was all very magic, the vision that her request. As soon as he came, we realized we could offer this to many others. That is how the journey of our sanctuary began. Since then, we hold programs to tell our animals' stories. We call them masters because of their ability to forgive and love unconditionally. We suggest people talk to listen to them, to allow their magic. They teach us the importance of loving rather than being loved. They teach me not to give in my fears of getting hurt because we can recover. I feel very blessed to have a strong bond with all animals we were able to ask over the years for being trusted, for listening to them in my heart, even when it hurts I'm thankful. We often hear we need to save them, but truly we need to save humans and let master animals simply be. They are saved without us. We must rescue humankind so we all can live in harmony. Like, comment, and subscribe.